born and raised in Portland, Oregon, had a really colorful life. Steve Audrey remembers his neighbor as larger than life. The man known to millions in the 80s as a wrestling star, Billy Jack Haynes. One of the gentlemen is going to produce many thrills for you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen in Seattle. Uh, After retirement, Haynes has settled down in Portland's Lentz neighborhood. He and his wife, Janet Bachamp, became known to their neighbors as Billy and Jan, a friendly couple with kind souls. Yeah, he told me, come on by any time, Steve. We'll sit down, have a beer. And, <laughs> you know, he's your average Joe guy to me, you know, but one of my favorite heroes when I was a kid. That's why Steve couldn't believe what happened on Thursday when police swarmed the streets around Haynes' home, locked in a stand off with the former icon after investigators say he shot and killed his wife. The now 70-year-old Haynes refused to surrender for hours, but ultimately gave himself up. It appears to be that my elder neighbor killed his wife. Breland Matthew says she grew to love the couple, her next-door neighbors, often taking care of 85-year-old Janet, who she says was struggling with dementia. It's like literally a couple days ago I was staying with her for a few days while he was in the hospital. Matthew says Haynes was recently in the hospital because of a fall, suffering broken ribs. This past week, she says he suddenly checked out to be with his wife. He said he came home because he couldn't stand being away from her. Sweetheart of a of a guy. Then Thursday, police found Janet dead from a single gunshot wound, and friends couldn't believe it, especially Audrey, who admired Haynes' career and stardom. Unfortunately, he got hurt, and otherwise he'd have probably been really as famous as Hulk Hogan. Those injuries Haynes suffered in the ring led to national headlines a decade ago when he led a class action lawsuit with 50 former wrestlers against the WWE, claiming the organization failed to protect them against repeated head injuries, leading to long-term brain damage. The lawsuit alleging multiple concussions led to problems with his health later in life, including depression. The case went all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court, which refused to hear it in 2021, and it was dismissed. Now in the community, Haynes spent years building connections with him. Many questions remain. A great community around here, a lot of veterans that are in my dad's event as well, and so was Billy. And uh, I did love him dearly, and we love Jen as well. So, yeah, it's, it's, but, yeah it's, like I said, it's, it's a tragedy all around. So. Police say Haynes is currently in the hospital being treated for a medical condition unrelated to the shooting. They say when he is released, he's expected to be booked into jail, and they'll share what the former WWE superstar is officially being charged with.